Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Rush, the Soviet gamer, and welcome to the final part of Let's Play Rescue Rangers 2. Ah, uh, yes, let's see what fuck has been hiding. Anyway, uh, yep, if you hit those levers with a box, you can change the direction of the conveyor belt, which can come in handy if you want to finish this level faster and perhaps a little safer. Because otherwise you're going to be running against the current and uh, it's not a good idea. I always prefer those things to go faster, to be honest. So, yeah. The final part of the game. The final part of the game. Bugger off, you cock. Oh, bloody cock. <laughs> Can't believe I got hit by one of them. Anywho. Now... We have to watch out for those electric currents and uh, little flying birdies up in the air. They're relatively easy to avoid. All you have to do is make sure you don't jump while one of them is off the screen because you will hit one of them. Other than that, relatively easy to avoid. All you have to do is stay on the floor. Nothing to worry about whatsoever. Just be careful, unlike <laughs> what I've just done. Hey look, birdie dropped a birdie. Your uh, son is a bit of a retard. <laughs> Boom. That one's a bit smarter. Good breeding there, good breeding. It actually went for me. <sighs> Thank you, Montre Jack, for another piece of pie. So, yep, now we get a bit of laser beam fun. Or unless that's just, uh, you know, some kind of things that pour cake <laughs> or something onto the conveyor belt. But yeah, they look kind of like laser beams. Or kind of some kind of liquid. Doesn't matter. Just avoid it. Don't hit it. It's relatively easy. Just run against <laughs> the conveyor belt. And then just shoot past them as soon as they go away. Nothing to worry about at all. Even though I do remember when I was a little kid, <laughs> those things did intimidate me a little bit. And here comes the hardest part of the level for the newbies. Because those <laughs> balls will probably get you. The trick is <laughs> hiding in a box here. Definitely. And another rule is, as long as there is a ball on screen, that uh, gun up on the ceiling is not going to shoot anything. So try to take... You use that to your advantage. Just use it to your advantage. Yep. And they blocked my route. They're not gonna stop me. And there is a load of R&R &R logos, which are not really necessary at this point in the game. But they're just there to spell danger. Danger, danger, danger zone. Danger zone! Something big and bad is approaching the players. Like a mouse that's going to use its baseball bat spoon to annoy me and take one hit point from me. Ooh, here you are, Mr. Fat Cat. Here you are. I've been waiting for you. That's right, I've been waiting to kick your butt for the second time since Rescue Rangers 1, which I will be playing at some point. Ooh, I'll never defeat you. Hmm. Let's think about that. How many times have the Rescue Rangers kicked your butt? Many, 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 many times. So, I'm pretty sure no matter what, this game is gonna be completed, and I'm not gonna die during this boss fight. Ooh, the lights are going out. Everything's going scary and stuff. Oh, check it out. This fat cat in his Iron Man suit. <laughs> Looking kind of like a kettle there. Uh, fat cat. Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just a robot. Fat cat's not actually in it. I'm just taking a mic. I know enough about this game. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't pick that up. <sighs> Fat cat robot. There you go. Right in the nutsack. <laughs> That's what you get for not watching where you dump those bombs. You little silly kitty. <sighs> yep, 
That's right, you gotta wait for the little countdown on the bombs before you throw it. This takes pretty good timing. Another little hint, if you do not have good reflexes, or not very good with timing, simply throwing the bomb at either one of his hands will take a hit point from his hand, so eventually you hit those hands enough, eh, they will fall off, theoretically speaking. I've never actually done it. Not in a while, anyway. But yeah, uh, the best idea is use the timer to your advantage and uh, at just the right time, throw the bomb at him and make sure that it explodes somewhere around his face, his hands, or, or his body, whatever. That did not count for some reason. This game is cheating. How dare it. Doesn't matter. I'm still going to win. I have no doubt about it. Just like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here comes a little spoiler. You have to beat this little bugger twice. Oh yeah, here comes another little bomb that you dropped in a silly place. Wow, right in the nutsack. <sighs> Sometimes AI from the 90s is just not up to the task, is it? <laughs> Don't let a robot run your shit, otherwise you're gonna fail. <laughs> oh yeah, so yeah, I've beaten him for the first time. His skin sort of fell off. Now I just have to get this kitty a little bit more bold and naked. And he's going to die. Theoretically speaking. <laughs> Why am I saying theoretically speaking? I know that's the case. Bloody hell, I am pretty damn lucky this time. How many times has this cat got to hurt himself in the nuts before he realizes that is not the way you try to beat the rescue rangers? <sighs> Damn it. Can't believe I missed. Oh well, never mind. I am not ashamed of my failings. I did not play this game for a while. <laughs> I have an excuse. And I missed again after two brilliant opportunities. That's right, uh, when uh, Fat Cat's on the left hand side of the screen or the center, as long as you remain behind him, he cannot hurt you at all. Damn, I keep getting hurt by that thing. <sighs> yeah. For those of you who don't want to fail as miserably as I did just now, all you have to do when he throws the little m m mace or something like that, yeah, just run left and right. Don't jump and don't try to run away from it. Just go left and right. If it happens again, I'll definitely try to demonstrate it. Wow, that one actually counted. <laughs> Thought I missed. Oh well, no worries. Yeah, his uh, right hand, or the left hand from our perspective, is uh, quite easy. All you have to do is uh, pretty much just jump up. Boom, boom. Yeah, that's how you meant to dodge the mace. <laughs> Not the way I did it before. Watch and learn. And don't forget how to do that. <laughs> it will come in handy. As I said, it is entirely possible to beat this game without getting hit once. And there goes the Tin Can Kitty. Fat Cat, your Iron Man is gone. And that was that, the end of the level. So yes, as the final cutscene plays through, I am going to tell you a little bit about my future projects and uh, what I plan to do with my next Let's Play videos. So yes, I am definitely going to use the recorded video, recorded footage from the final level of this game in order to do a re-upload of my Fat Cat Slayer remastered soundtrack, which did sound really, really damn good. It's definitely one of my favorite soundtracks uh, from the background music in the entire game. That's why I remastered it. So yeah, it might... Uh, might be a good idea to re-upload it with a bit of footage, you know, get YouTube to send some views down my way, even though the original was actually quite popular. 
not as popular as uh, the video that I've done about the final level of Chippendale Rescue Rangers 1. But still, probably my second most popular video. And it sure could use a little bit of gameplay footage, you know, using my new format for remastering and remixes of NES game soundtracks. It's all good, it's all good. Anyway, I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of this cutscene and uh, <laughs> the final, final music. Yep, the end game music. Why not? At the end of the day, it's pretty cool. Might as well celebrate that tune by just listening to it without me blabbing on. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, comment, rate, share and subscribe. And uh, wait for my next YouTube video. Enjoy! See you next time!